Hello students. In my last class already I taught you exercise 5.2 and in that chapter you learn how to do the multiplication with algebraic expression. Now exercise 5.3 I am going to teach you how to divide the algebraic terms. How to divide. So first question you see here in your exercise, exercise 5.3, here both is given monomial terms. How to divide the monomial terms here? 12x by 36. So we can write here 12x by 36. So by 12 we will cut 12, 3 are 36. That means x by 3. This will be your answer. Similarly, like this is suppose next uh, here it is given 12, 24 ab by twice a. So solution 24 ab by twice a. Then we can write 24 ab by twice a. Then a a even cancel. 24 into cut by 2 that is only 12. So what will remain? Only 12b. This will be your answer. So like this way, remaining one you can continue. Then you see question number two. In question number two, you see it is given means what? Numerator part means here you see this one is monomial, monomial means single single terms are there. Now binomial terms will be divided by whole number. So how you divide you see question number two here. First question it is given 6x 6x plus 8 divided by divided by 2. Question number 2a solution 6x plus 8 divided by 2. Now if we divide this one 6x plus 8 divided by 2. Now we can do the part part division. Part part division means what? Suppose here uh, 6x by 2 plus 8 divided by 2. For example, suppose here 6x minus 8 divided by 2 your question. Then in that case what you will write? You will write 6x minus 8 divided by 2. Then 6x by 2 minus 8 by 2. You see here plus that's why plus here minus that's why minus. That is the difference. Then you cut it. Here 3 here 4. That means what? 3x plus 4 and here also you will cut then 3 here 4. That means 3x minus 4. One question is plus, one question is minus. Like this are the remaining one you can solve from question number 2. Now we will see question number 3. Question number 3 here binomial terms how we divide by again binomial terms. So this is little bit difficult. So try to understand nicely. Here you see, if your conception is clear, then you can solve it nicely. Now, is the first question is given. Question number three a, three a. Here, eighty one s square minus four divided by nine a plus 2 ok one thing I want to tell you in my last class means when I taught you exercise 5.2 I solved all the multiplication in horizontal method I am not, solve, not solving single one with vertical method already I told you before because now we are in class 8 students so when you go in class 9 and 10 in 9 and 10 we are using every time horizontal method that's why I am teaching you only horizontal method so in horizontal method you will use addition time, subtraction time and multiplication time. Now you see this one how we divide. I will show you. Solution 81 s square minus 4 divided by 9a plus 2. Now first you have to know in division time. Suppose here a divided by b then suppose here c and here remainder is d. Now you see this one is called this one is called your dividend. This one name is what? Dividend. The number which you are going to divide. That one is called dividend. And number the number which by which one we are going to divide. That is called divisor. Here whatever you get this is called quotient and this one will be your remainder. So here your dividend is given and division is given. Dividend and division is given. So when we divide you see how we divide. Now here 81 square. 81 square here only 
9a. Now we have to find that means 9 by what number if you multiply the number 81? That means by 9 if you minus 9 times 81. So that means 9. Now we see here a but here s square. So you will write here a. So 9 9 ja 81 a into a means a square. Same thing is coming. Now since this one is plus it will become minus in case of division. Now here plus, here also plus. Plus into plus, plus. 9 to the 80. Then a. Now you see when the subtraction, this one is positive, this one is negative, we can cancel. Now here this will be it will become minus. Now you see this one minus, this one also minus. But here 18a, here 4. Both are different. So right here minus 18a, then minus 4. Okay. Now here minus, here plus. Plus into minus, minus. Now 9a by what number you will multiply? Then you will get 18a. That means 9a means by 2 you will multiply 9 to the 18. 9 to the 18 plus into minus minus then a then here plus here minus plus into minus minus 2 to the 4 that means the minus will become plus this minus also will become plus then this one negative this one positive cancel this one negative this one positive cancel that means remainder is 0 that means your quotient q equal to 9a minus 2 and remainder is 0 Okay, so like this, I'll solve one more question that I need to be clear for you. For example, suppose question number D. Question number D is given x cube minus 6x square, 6x square plus 8x divided by x minus. 4. Okay, now how I divide this one you see here x cube minus 6x square plus 8x here x minus 4. So here x cube and here x. So that means with x by what number you will multiply you will get x cube. So x you will multiply by x square then only you will get x cube. So right here x square. <coughs> x square into x means x cube. Here minus, here plus. Plus into minus, minus. 4 into x square means 4x square. Then this one plus, it will become minus. Minus, it will become plus. Cancel. Here minus 6x square plus 4x square. So plus into minus, minus. That means minus 2x square plus 8x. Now next, here minus, here plus. Plus into minus, Minus. Then with x by what number you will multiply you will get 2x square means 2x. 2x into x means 2x square. Minus into plus means minus. So we write minus 2x square minus into minus plus 4 to the 8x. Then here minus here minus cancel. That means quotient equal to x square minus 2x and remainder equal to 0. Like this way you can solve the remaining one. Then is the question number 4. Question number 4 when we solve same like this way. When we divide then in that case you will get some remainder. So we will write question also will write. Remainder also will write. You can solve yourself. Question number 5 and 6 you can solve yourself. You will solve. I will check when the school will reopen. Stay home. Stay safe. Do it for yourselves, do it for your family, do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Come home, yeah, come, yeah, Jay Hill.